So I'm here with Joe Fiala, who's the executive director of the On Hand Development Corps out of Milner, South Dakota. And Joe, I understand that you read Halloween Out the Middle and that you also had a book discussion in your community. Would you tell us a little bit about uh, what stood out in the book and, and as well as the book discussion? Sure. Uh, what we did is we got uh, about six people together in the community that were interested in that subject, uh, hollowing out the middle and the rural brain drain. And we just covered a chapter at a time, and then we get together and, and discuss it, and we met over the course of about a month and a half and covered the book. And the two things that I really got out of the book that really made an impression on me was first, uh, we're not having the kitchen table conversation with our youth that there's an opportunity to stay in South Dakota or to go and receive your education and experience some life and then come back to South Dakota. That, that discussion is not happening around the kitchen table. Uh, the second thing uh, that I, I noted in, during our discussions was that somehow we've got to figure out a way to allocate our resources locally to those uh, youth that decide to stay in our communities. How do we uh, give them the skill sets and the training uh, and the opportunities that they need to create their own businesses and to create their own job growth and their opportunities uh, to stay in our communities? So those were the two things that I really picked up on. Well, thanks. You know, in our discussion here today, the idea of entrepreneurship came up and the role that entrepreneurship training might play. Uh, what do you think we need to be doing in rural communities to help, you know, train, help give young people the skills they need to be entrepreneurs? Right. That's a great question. And, and during our discussions today at, at the presentation, uh, it's centered around uh, communities creating jobs. And I'm not sure that that should be our focus. I mean, you know, maybe our focus should be training those youth, uh, giving them the skill sets they need so that they can create their own jobs, create their own opportunities, their own businesses. Uh, and, and then that will allow for you know, even more people to come back and be employed. And so I think maybe that, that focus change is important and we need to investigate that. You know, what is the best role that we can play to help facilitate that? Uh, you know, because a lot of the folks that stay will have experiences and skills and knowledge that I don't have or I'm not passionate about, but they do and they can see a business opportunity with a little help. Now is that something that's the responsibility of the school, the community, the parents? What do you think about that? I think it's spread out all of all of, over all of those. I think the parents have a role to play. I think our community has a role to play, the school system, but also, you know, the, the community leaders and the community organizations. You know, when they engage youth, and they do a good job now of, of engaging youth in their activities, but during those activities, are they having that, again, that kind of kitchen table discussion about the opportunity to stay or to come back to our rural communities? Thanks, Joe. Uh, you're very welcome.